Hello again folks, I'm going to do a quick video, this time how to detail paint a manatee statue. I know that's a bit of an unusual statue, but they're very popular uh, down where my business is. Uh, I'm not going to talk much through this video, I'm just going to kind of get to it. Um, most of my other videos will have step-by-step -step instructions, but this is such a simple piece, I'm just going to go right through it as quick as I can from start to finish. The only thing I've done prior to this video is I've done the black uh, watered down coat of uh, acrylic latex paint, the black coat here to give uh, the base that I'm going to start with. As you can see it's kind of blotchy. I don't care because it's not going to show through uh, where it's blotchy. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. Just remember my website rubbermoldman.com uh, where you can check out my molds. I'm going to be adding more and more uh, links to it soon and it will also have the ways to contact me directly as well as how to uh, purchase my molds that I make. Uh, for instance the latex molds that make this very manatee. Alright, so I'm going to get started here. This is one of the easiest pieces I have for painting. And in just a few minutes it'll be finished and it's an item that when it's done will sell for about $50 to $60. So here we go. Next step, a little bit of white to make a light gray. Go ahead and get most of it off the brush. We're just going to lightly go over what we just did in spots. I'm going to go a little heavier with that up here on the snout. Maybe a little more on his cheeks there. As you can see, the white is just to kind of highlight some spots here and there. It's not to go over the whole thing. Okay, now. This next part isn't very realistic, but it does help add just a touch of color. I'm going to take some pink and uh, soften it down with some of the white. I'm going to go just in his mouth there and put just a touch of pink 
on the top of that bottom lip and inside his mouth just to give it a hint of pink color and then manatees aren't exactly known for rosy cheeks but because it's such a fairly uh, colorless statue I'll go ahead and just give a hint of that pink there on the cheeks and just kind of we don't want it bright and too gaudy and now what I'm going to do is take that same pink and just kind of add a little bit of that highlighting around the eyes there. Need a little bit more. Just a touch of pink. Mainly just to make the little eyes pop out. This guy has tiny little eyes. I'm not even going to do detailed eyes on him. I'm just going to do standard black eyes. That is now. Some black paint. Again, these are acrylic latex paints. All water-based, easy to work with. One black eye. Black eye. I just wipe away a little dot of the black I got there accidentally. I'll touch over it with a bit of the white and the pink again. So yes, even I make mistakes from time to time. He's almost done. I'll just do one last little finishing touch. Like I said, I'm not doing detailed eyes, but I'm going to use the end of my brush there. I dipped it in the white. I'm going to put a little white dot there, which is supposed to represent uh, light reflecting off of these eyes. It just makes them a little more full of expression. And there you have it. The only other thing I would do at this point is uh, take it outside and give it a clear coat of enamel spray. That just helps protect the paint that I put on it. It doesn't really do anything for the concrete itself. It just makes it shiny and seals the paint in. It's the standard stuff you can get at any uh, store that sells paint. I get mine at Walmart. It's like uh, $3 and such a can. And I just squirt it over, give it a nice clear coat. And there you go, one of the easiest detail finishes I've ever had on a statue that sells like hotcakes. Large manatee statue. You saw how uh, quickly I got that painted, and that will sell for $50 to $60 at my shop, no problem. Now, of course, if you're in the Midwest or up north, uh, probably not going to be a biggest seller up there for you, because a lot of people don't even know these are a real animal. But down here uh, in the Caribbean and Florida, these statues are some of the most popular. These are beloved animals down here. So uh, I'll be doing more videos. Again, most of them will be step-by-step how-tos, but I just wanted to show you just how quickly you can take an ordinary looking statue and make it look extraordinary and be able to sell for big bucks. Again, don't forget my website, rubbermoldman.com. Check out all my molds that I have on there, more coming. And if you have any questions that, use the contact info there to contact me directly. Thanks for watching and see you soon.